Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. A few things before we move forward. Uh, the volume wasn't that good last episode. I apologize for that. I've done some more tinkering with it. Hopefully it's better. It sounded okay to me. It may be a little light for all of you. If it is, uh, let me know. I hate it when settings reset because then it feels like I have to... I do have to redo them all, and it feels like starting the LP over in, in that regard. But I'll continue to make it better. You always have that promise from me as a Let's Player. I always try to adjust, make it better. That way you get a good quality experience. Uh, the second thing is something that... Uh, if you don't know much about me... Uh, video games are my passion. That's why I really love uh, LPing and being a Let's Player. I have a real passion for it. I really enjoy it. The other thing that I enjoy almost as much is sports. I'm a big uh, NFL fan, uh, NCAA fan, uh, NBA, college basketball, mostly mostly NFL and NCAA football but yesterday and I watch a lot of ESPN and yesterday one of the great legendary sports center anchors uh, Stuart Scott passed away from cancer and cancer is something that I despise I've had uh, family members hit by cancer I've had uh, friends, their families affected by cancer, and it means a lot to me. Uh, Joshua learned top, by the way. And it, it does... It, it is a serious topic that I'm passionate about, and Stuart Scott fought cancer as bravely as he could, and I grew up watching Stuart Scott. I say he's a sports center anchor. I watch a lot of ESPN and I grew up watching him and he just seemed like a really really good guy and from what everybody has talked about that had the privilege of knowing him personally said he was a really good guy he always came across that way through TV and he he gave me the just watching him that it was okay to be yourself and that's something I am as a let's player I'm myself <laughs> what you what you hear my emotions that's what you get it's the real deal I don't put on an act like some people do and I, I, I got some of that through him and it's very sad to hear that just along with cancer and growing up watching him it really meant a lot to me and I know this is a gaming channel this isn't a sports channel but as a person that's a commentator yes he was an anchor on sports center but I am in many ways an anchor here I'm a commentator I just want to say rest in peace Stuart Scott and my outro will be a little different when we get to that. But I just, wish I, I just wanted to say that because it's it's real. And it's something I typically don't do on my channel. If you're new to the channel, I typically don't, don't address things. Or uh, I try to stay focused on the game. But this was really important to me. He was from all everything I've heard. Just a really cool guy. I grew up watching him. And he did have an effect as on me as what I initially wanted to do in life, and still may do. You never know what uh, curveballs life will throw at you. Which was to be a an anchor for sports or talk about sports. Uh, my my even bigger passion is video games, and here I am as a less player talking to you about video games. But he he had an impact in in his own way. So. I just wanted to, wanted to get that. If you're not into sports or you don't know who that is, 
uh, than whatever, but it meant a lot to me. Crap! Looks like we got company. Don't think you're gonna walk out of here the same way you came in. All we need to do is buy some time for Don, Kyle, and Josette to escape. Trying to shield your masters to the bitter end, huh? Though it's a ridiculous thing to do, your spirit is admirable. Then I wonder if beating them into the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down! Agreed. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. Let's see, 127. You do have enough for a Sylvan Whip. Let's do that. Now you see, from the angle, it looked like it would hit anyway, but we know it just hits an area. Which, it, I think it should have had a different look, just so the uh, look of the attack fit. That's just me. Uh, Flicker! Now you two get to go. Oh, petrified! Well, you're dead. <laughs> That's a nasty status effect. I'm gonna be freaking out when the enemies learn that. Learn how to, uh... How to petrify like that. Oh, thanks for missing. Holly, there we go. You're dead anyway. The enemies hit hard, but it's not, uh... I don't know, it's a, it's a doable fight. Just watch your health, which I didn't do a good job of last time. <laughs> That's that. And now we know that poison the poison goes off even if the battle ends. <laughs> there we go. Done. Enjoy the show. Okay, let's heal before we go any further. Uh, I'll have Estelle do it. Just to save some... Some EP for Ollie who could, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, use it to cast more. Uh, we'll just walk around here. Should almost be there. There we go. Huh? What's this? Surrounded. How'd the army find out about this place? That liar! Things were supposed to go down like this! Ah, uh, you have been backstabbed! Hey! Get your dirty mitts off me! Hey! What's going on here? And you have been captured. Hmm. Those are the leaders? Ringleaders of the Sky Bandits? I'm surprised there's such a young woman, too. How about you shut? How about you shut your yap and start taking some good pictures? What are the chances of getting another scoop like this? Wow, even tipped off the news people. Smart. What is up? So how about it, Null? Is this enough to help you write a decent article? You are smooth, Richard! I knew there was a reason I really liked you. Look, 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 this is this is this is so smooth, and you may not see it right off the bat. If he found out, and he still may end up being a bad guy, who knows. But, so he found out about the base, right? He was given the tip or whatever. He found out about it. Not only is he here to capture the leaders and look awesome and get credit, he tips off the news, the newspaper, so they're there to take pictures and get an article, and he looks awesome. PR professional right here, Colonel Richard. You bet it is. I'm really grateful you took us along. Oh, would you mind if we took a picture of you while we're at it? Oh, certainly. You can certainly take a picture. Hmm, 
What do you think, General Morgan? And you, you go to your superior officer, even though you know he's going to say it's okay. Do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. Exactly. Bang! <laughs> oh, I so respect that. That's, that's just strategy and tactics. Not militarily. Not just militarily, but also from a social and PR standpoint. Well done. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this was just the result of the accuracy of the Intelligent Division's analysis. And modest! And thanks to the cooperation of those of you standing over there. What? I... Um, what are you guys? I mean, how the heck? What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey, look! It's Estelle and Joshua! B bracers Why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you. We infiltrated this place one step ahead of you. Again. And the entire hideout has been subdued. We chased the fleeing Sky Bandit leaders up this way, but I never would have guessed that the Royal Army's patrol ships would be waiting. Mm. Once again, you've overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strike saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we in turn recognize their achievements? Mm. Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return to the ship and see what information I can get out of these sky bandits. Very well, General. That old man's as stubborn as ever. <laughs> He's not a bad person. He just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, where are the other Sky Bandits and the hostages? The other lackeys should be lying all over the place unconscious. As for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they were imprisoned in. I see. You've done this nation a great service. Please, leave the transportation of the hostages and cargo to us. Let's move, Captain Um- Oh, boy. <laughs> Good job. Way to not be professional. Amalthea? Amalthea? Amalthea. Let's go with that. Captain Amalthea. Yes, Colonel. Ah, that's your captain. Ah, wait for me, Colonel. I really like to interview you kids, but this time the Colonel is top priority. We have another opportunity? I'd appreciate doing one with you too. Of course you would. Good newspaper person. See you later, Estelle Joshua. That is a top-notch reporter. Huh, well, all's well that ends well, right? My, my, my. You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen just like that. Eh, that's what the colonel's good at. It's, it's alright. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The Bracer's role has always been that of the unsung hero. There's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah. Dad always made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Hmm. Ah! Where is Dad? Hmm. Guess that's the one problem we still gotta figure out. Where is Dad now? What is he doing? And why hasn't he tried to contact us? Um... It looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to Bose and report what happened with the incident. We'll try to figure out what happened, what to do about your dad after that. Bose Bracer Guild. <laughs> I really appreciate all of your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory. I don't know if we could exactly say we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I don't know if the army's raid would have been so successful. It would have been more difficult, that's for sure. Backed into a corner as they were, the Sky Bandits may very well have harmed the hostages. Very true. They, they could have really begun hostage negotiations and... Geez, it could have been really lengthened out. <laughs> Agreed. 
Everything worked out because you infiltrated the hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. Do you really think so? <laughs> it's true that the hostages were freed and the Sky Bandits arrested. <sighs> but it's a bit vexing to know that there's still some unanswered questions left. The men who appeared in the Valeria Lake Shore in the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits. I think we should consider that there's a lot behind this incident that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll have to leave that part up to the Royal Army to figure out. All the culprits being detained by them, there's not really much we left to do. Anyway, we should just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I have added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course I am. Because she's awesome! I'd like to thank you too, Ollie. <laughs> I just hope that my work was worth the price of that Grand Chardonnay. Yes, in fact, there was change to spare. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again. Uh, you're really high on the priority list right now, Maybell. Maybell, really high. You've been awesome. Cool. Okay. Wow, nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone on any longer, it caused much more confusion. Probably only natural if the mayor is happy as she is. Yeah, she's about to get money back into the town. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of other people. Exactly. <laughs> if you say so. But I think it's safe to say you're no longer greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. Think so? At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. South Block Burglary 8,000 Mira, 10 BP. Current rake is Junior Bracer 6th Class. Here's the pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very, very nice sum. And this is from me. Received recommendation. Isn't this... A recommendation from the Bose branch? Is it alright to give this to us so soon? Considering everything you've done? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Of course, it would be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Lugren. <laughs> we'll work hard so we don't bring any recommendate any embarrassment on this recommendation. <laughs> Great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sure. You're probably right. <sighs> I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing. Not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yes. It's definitely a lot like him. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner in Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please! Huh? Oh, hi! Aren't you that receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits. And among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So, I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that. Wait a minute. Why is there something addressed to this branch when the airliner left Boast to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Roland branch. But aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? Uh, yeah, actually. What? That's us, but... Oh, perfect! Uh, we contacted the Roland branch, and they said you'd come here. Here you are. This is the parcel. Estelle was given both the letter and the parcel. This letter. Yep. It's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Roland branch. Seems as if he just scribbled it out before he got off the airliner. Guess Dad did intend on in getting contact with us after all. Oh. Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad too? No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. 
Okay, my business here is done, so I'll be on my way. Oh, and one other thing. Good job at helping arrest those Sky Bandits. You bracers sure do excellent work. Yay! And to think that a clue about your father would be mixed in with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you'd like. Thanks, Lugrin. Well then, let's have a look at the contents, shall we? Do you mind telling me what you're still doing here? Wow, I still read my mind. <laughs> it's just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. Why did your father disembark the airliner prior to its departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer, the question would stick in my mind so I'd never be able to sleep at night. A and you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel can you be to a companion who has traveled alongside you? And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout? Alright already! You can be a rather obnoxious fellow, I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we may have to ask you to leave, okay? Of course, I understand. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Cutting the letter seal. Dear Estelle and Joshua, I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning. But take one, each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, turns out I've had a little trouble with my own work. And unfortunately, looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my re please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did, but you should be grown up enough not to be lonely while I'm away. Until I get back, I'll leave it up to the both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life. Make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sherizard and Aina. Cassius Bright. That seems like the type of letter your father would write. Touches lightly on things, but it's full of consideration toward the both of you. Yeah. Looks that way. Hmm? The Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep. It's about two or three months away. Wow. Something bad is going to happen at the Queen's birthday celebration, and he's going to be trying to stop it, isn't he? Which means this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Forget about that. Let's focus on what's in the package with an unknown sender that's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself. But shouldn't we but we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know. Th that's true. Ollie, don't coax Estelle into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Actually though, Ollie does have a good point. Instead of leaving it until our dad comes home might be worth looking into, especially if he's going to be gone for two or three months. Okay, let's check it out. Huh? Inside was a shiny black hemispherical device. Also enclosed was a single memo with the item. What's this supposed to be? It's an orbman, though I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item the aforesaid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Also, please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find an opportunity. K. Okay. That's it? Yep, looks like the sender didn't write anything else. Shara, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? <sighs> I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be foreigners too. 
If that's the only thing we got to go on, then honestly, I'm about ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black orphan anyway? Hmm. From the ship alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle ornament. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle ornament has slots in which to install quartz. This one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact. An artifact? Precisely. An artifact is an ornament created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models of all ornaments produced today. They are still occasionally discovered in ruins. And, for the most part, the Septon Church has custody over them. They are a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. Looks to me like it was made recently. You're all right about that. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Jeez! Now look what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad! Does he know that we're all worried about him? Uh, Estelle? Now he's getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender? What in the world's my dad gotten himself into this time? Estelle? You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? Huh? Joshua? It's what Dad wrote in his letter, right? He said, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Well, that's what you, should, you two should do. Yeah, he did say that, but... We've already managed to get recommendations from Roland and Bose, right? All that's left are Ruin, Zeese, and Grinsel. Only those three. When we do jobs as we travel around to these other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is, or what he's doing. I think we're just worrying ourselves for nothing, considering Dad's skills. There's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. I think getting off on our... Getting off our own duffs is a lot better than just sitting around and waiting. And we just might be able to find this Professor R, too. Um, Joshua? What? You're a genius! Uh, Stell, what are you talking about? It's like killing two birds with one stone, maybe even ten! Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. Should... so... should I consider that a yes? Is it ever? Yes, yes, triple yes! Training to be senior bracers as we travel around liberal and exposing what that no good middle aged man has been doing in the process! Um, I think you're somehow missing the point. <laughs> Looks like she's back to her old self. <laughs> I guess it's settled then. Post International Port. Well, take care. I'm going to head back to Roland now. No! Don't leave! That said, I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? No! Come along! Give it a fresh, Shara. We'll be fine. The whole reason we're going on this trip is to become senior bracers. It wouldn't be training anymore if you came with us. And if you didn't go back, the Roland branch would have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. Well, if you insist, it's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for senior bracer status. Don't overdo it. And if you run into trouble, contact the Roland branch. Got it? I'll come running no matter where you are. Sure. Thanks, Shara. The same goes for you. Don't get yourself too liquored up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll watch the number of drinks. Never fear, dear children. You can count on me to protect Fair Shara. Oh, boy. And why are you headed to Roland? Not to mention with Shara. That's because I've tasted all there is to... I've tasted all there is to taste of the local dishes here in Bos. And I thought it was about time I turned my attentions toward another region. As for Roland's cuisine, I've heard the produce is just to die for. So that's where I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a restaurant and some lovely vegetables or some such nonsense. He's so persistent, I only agreed to him coming along under the condition that he'd go drink with me at the bar. We'll never see him alive again. 
Holly, I really hope you understand what you've promised her. <laughs> I could die for the likes of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many and many agonizing hours of consideration, I've decided to accompany Fair Sherazard instead. I think I'll be better off with you a safe distance away from me. Well, have fun, but I'm warning you. Don't you dare make any trouble in Roland, you hear me? Here's another piece of advice. When Cher is at the bar, watch out. That's when the gloves come off. I'm seriously not joking when I say you should beware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle? Besides, Ina's coming too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you! Gloves come off, huh? Is that, perchance, what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes, Estelle said it best, though. Nice knowing you. Yes, it was a pleasure. Eh? The Roland Blount airliner will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Well, Ollie boy, it looks like it's time for us to leave. Come on now, we'd better hurry and get on. Sure, wait. Can't we talk this over? I'd really appreciate if I ha had just a little more time to think things through. Surely you're not getting cold feet already. If you consider yourself a man, quit acting like a ninny! Well, Ollie's dead. See you later, Shara. Give our regards to everyone in Roland. Have a wonderful trip, you two! And with that, Chapter 1, Disappearance of the Linde, comes to an end. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. It's been a uh, long <laughs> chapter. I wonder if they're all this long and just how far we are into the game. But feels like we're making good progress. Decent progress. Okay, we're making progress, but <laughs> again, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoy the characters. I'll take I'll take just a brief minute to talk so far about how I feel about the game so far. Uh, there is a lot of dialogue, and I don't want it to be misconstrued as I'm not enjoying the game. I am enjoying the game. Just sometimes it can bog down the the videos and it may not be the most entertaining thing for you all to watch but i that's why I, at the end of every video i say it because i mean it i really do hope you're enjoying the lp and having a lot of fun with it i really like the characters the music has been really good too until the next episode where we will start chapter two i'm cinder a9 and in the words of the great Stuart Scott, I hope that you all can stay as cool as the other side of the pillow. Take care, everyone.